Hello scrapbookers, this is Trina here. I'm going to do a quick tutorial tonight uh, on the Silhouette Cameo. Uh, basically, uh, it's going to be a very quick tutorial. Uh, even though the Silhouette uh, program and website, web store, has many, many um, options and designs that you can download to make your, quick, your uh, cut files, your sketch files, uh, everything. They have thousands and thousands and very well priced, only 50 cents each to 99 cents. And actually when I signed up I had a great deal. I pay $15 a month and end up with a $150 credit for digital downloads at the Silhouette store. So they have that on periodically. So uh, I have literally about 800 designs right now for the uh, Silhouette Cameo and that's growing. What I also love about the Silhouette Cameo is my local papery store uh, carries all the supplies that are needed for this machine. Uh, they are much more economical than the local big box stores and more economical than ordering in from Silhouette and paying duty and shipping fees on it. So I really like them as where I buy my vinyl, my blades, my sketch pens, anything for the Silhouette Cameo and for my scrapbooking. Uh, I get at the papery and they have a vast variety of um, <clears throat> materials and tools. Uh, but not only that, they have a very knowledgeable staff. Uh, Wendy, Tina, and Megan have been a phenomenal support to me. Uh, and my only affili affiliation with them is that I am a loyal customer and that I've been very well treated and served there and uh, very well educated in the world of scrapbooking and mixed media. They have fabulous classes, fabulous instructor, instructors, so they're located in St. John's, Newfoundland. And uh, what I will do, uh, and you can probably see it here, or it was just maybe just before this, because I'll do it after I videotape this, uh, I'll put up their contact information. So the first thing we need to do is go into the web, and we're just going to Google uh, Grumpy Cat. Oh. We're just going to do a Grumpy Cat Silhouette. And it comes up because I've already sorted it, of course. And this one right here is one I picked, so I'm just going to click it. There it is. So I'm just going to now, uh, I just, if you have a PC, right click, uh, and you can two finger tap on a Mac. And basically, you're going to download your image. This is already downloaded. I'm on a Mac. I know where it's gone. It's gone into my download folder. So I'm just going to minimize this in case I should need it again. And uh, But for now, what I'm going to do, we're going to bring this into our Silhouette software. So we're just going to open Silhouette. We're going to open up a new page. And to bring this in uh, to the Silhouette program, we're just going to click the open folder right here. So uh, this would have went to my downloads, and I have a few here because I was downloading different variations of it. Uh, so you pick the file you want to open and just click OK. And now that this there, right pretty. I'm just going to bring it down to the middle so I can zoom in so you can see it better. Um, so basically, here we are. Uh, it is zoomed in. Uh, so what we need to do now, uh, if you look over here and we click on the Silhouette Cut file, there's nothing to cut. There's no red outline. Uh, it doesn't recognize any way to cut it. So we basically have to tell the software what we want to cut and um, where we want it to cut and how we want it to cut. And how do we do that? Very easy. I call this right here my slice of bread. I know it's not a slice of bread. It's really more like a butterfly. Uh, but it's a trace window. So you click on your trace window and then you just pick select trace area so all you do once you hit that is come over here and drag your box around the trace ear window we're going to uh, what we have here so now let's trace some of it what you can see is all this area is not filled in and we need this filled in to get a make sure we have the proper negative space because as I mentioned I'm going to be doing a sketch uh, sorry a um, glass um, etching so to do that, we turn off high pass filter, and it all filled in very nicely already, as you can see. So I'm just zooming in so you can get a bit more detail. I want this to be a little bit finer, so I'm going to drop, you adjust this yellow with the thresh, threshold button, so I'm just going to drag this down just a fraction. 
about 40. That might be good. Yeah, and see, you can already see the lines are clearer and sharper. I like it right where it's to right now. So I'm happy with that. So what we need to do is trace everything because we want to be sure we get inside here so we get negative space and the eyes take shape and the inside the ears take shape. So we hit the trace button. And I'm just going to zoom out so you can see. My good friends, we are done. We have just created a cut file on a silhouette cameo. Thanks so much and hope you have a very scrappy evening.